In this study, we will focus on a most predetermined time standard. So first, we'll select the task. And we have basic most selected from the time standard dropdown. Within the basic most editor, we can watch the video and then select the elements from the code lookup spreadsheet and enter them into the task elements table. So here I'm just going to input a few different codes. And as you can see, this is going to populate some ABG codes. So I'll stop the video. Over here in the total time column, it's listing TMUs or time measurement units. The most standard was developed by HB Maynard and most stands for the Maynard operation sequence technique. Times are calculated in TMUs which are 0 0.036 seconds. Within the most editor we can select the IDs from the code lookup table. We can type the IDs in and the code will be populated or we can enter a process type. If we enter PT, that's similar to entering P from the setting process type video. That allows us to specify a time unit for an operation by entering a time and then a dash and then the units. We can also enter the ID DM, which allows us to write our own ABG code. I'm just going to copy this here. Within the ABG code, we can ignore an element by putting arrow brackets around it. Or we can increase the frequency for any number of elements by placing them in parentheses and putting an integer value prior to them. We can set any element internal to another element by listing the row header of the element to which that element is internal to. So here we've listed the element number four is internal to element number three. The frequency can be set for any of these elements in the same way that the frequency can be set in the specifying frequency video. Within the basic most editor, we can also enter operator instructions or select a value added type from our value added spreadsheet. We can either do this by selecting the ellipsis on the button and selecting a value added type from there, or going to the drop down and selecting a value added type. Because the value added, non value added, and semi value added percentages are already defined for these types, they will be reflected up in the time data window once our study is saved. Here you can see that the parser has added up all of the TMUs and then taken those TMUs and converted them to seconds for the normal time of our task.